talking about my fourth year. Fourth year. And I bet you made a lot of interesting things. All people from all over the world. All That's over right. the world. I give a tour around town and show them everything around Little Rock. And so, and Now, these kids go from uh, K to 12th grade about uh, eight years ago. They 
was one kid that went there. He went on a game show called Teen Challenge Jeopardy. They tell me he went over about uh, over a hundred thousand dollars in scholarships. Or to the left, this uh, tall white building at the corner. That's the old uh, pyramid building. Now the pyramid building that was built back in uh, 1907. That's Arkansas's first skyscraper, 10 stories tall. And it had uh, electric lights, mail chutes, and three electric elevators. And people from miles around Arkansas, they would come to uh, Little Rock. They'd line up and down these sidewalks. They'd have picnics on the ground, waiting just to ride those elevators. See, that's how we got fun in Little Rock, yeah. Now, you'll see these little uh, yellow strips and uh, streetcar signs. There's about 15 of them along the way. You can jump on and off these uh, streetcars all day long for free. So uh, don't miss out on that. Or to the right, there's a uh, big old uh, stone colored building. That's the old uh, Federal Building. That was built back in about 1881. It started out as a customs house for riverboat traffic, the World War II induction center, the United States Post Office, the law school. That was the United States Bankruptcy Courthouse. Now across the street over to the right, you'll see a, uh, well, a lot of people mistake that for a church right there. I thought it was a castle forever. But what that is, that's the Pulaski County Courthouse. Now that was built on an old Victorian design back in 1888. And it's just beautiful on the inside also. A lot of mahogany and marble in there, just really ornate. And uh, so you could uh, also visit that. Then uh, next to that, on down the street, uh, annex to that, there's a uh, criminal courthouse. Now the criminal courthouse, that was built uh, in the early 1900s. That's why a little bit different structure and what have you. But uh, what I like about the criminal courthouse, there's a door on the side, and you walk in that side door, and you enter into a foyer, and there's all marble floors and what have you. You look up, there's statues all the way around the ceiling, and the ceiling is a dome-shaped glass ceiling designed by Tiffany's in New York. When that sun comes through there, it's just gorgeous. That's the criminal courthouse right there. So it's best to go in there as a tourist and not a client. <laughs> it takes a lot of fun out of it. <laughs> More to the left, uh, across the street, there's a uh, big old building with some columns. That's the Robinson Auditorium. That's the home of the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra and Ballet. Now that uh, was built back in uh, 1936 and just underwent a $68 million renovation. And it is beautiful on this. Here. There's not a bad seat in the house. They have some big time performances there. You have uh, Anthem of the Opera, Cinderella, Lion King, and many, many more. Conway, you know or to the left, you'll see the State House. That's uh, that was built back in about 1846, served up about 1911, uh, and it's a free tour there. But I love the story behind that cannon. There's a cannon right out there. That's called the Lady Baxter. Right after the Civil War, there's a governor in there by the name of Brooks. Now, he got beat out by a guy named Baxter. And Brooks said, Baxter, you cheated. That's said, no, I didn't cheat. But you know how those politicians get. Well, it got so bad that over 200 people died in that conflict. Well, Baxter and his buddies knew where there's an old sucking gunboat, the Confederate punch train out there in the river. They go out there and they got that cannon off that gunboat. They cleaned it up. They took it to the top of that hill and they pointed it at that front door. They said, oh, Governor Brooks about to the place up on the inside, barricade himself in. It got so bad that they had to send federal troops down to get it all under control. But I think Baxter won because he owned the camera. Now we're to our right, uh, there's a balcony in this Capitol Hotel. And after that Brooks Baxter World, Ulysses S. Grant, the 18th president, he came here and he gave two speeches from that balcony. Now, one little story about uh, Ulysses S. Grant that he was a great horseman, but he didn't have a little problem with his alcohol consumption. So each evening he'd get a little inebriated, he'd ride his horse through that front door onto the elevator and up to his room. He loved that horse. I did take a look at those elevators, and uh, that's the uh, largest personalized hydraulic elevators in the world. And also, I talked to the concierge there, and he said that hotel was voted the top 20 most luxurious hotel in the United States. I believe it too because when you get ready to leave, it's hard to close your suitcase because them towels are so fluffy. <laughs> Over to the left, that state has convention center. That state's busy all the time. They got convention game service. It's still, you name it, they got it going on. Over to the right, it's a little wasabi bar and grill. They say they have some pretty good sushi there. Uh, I kind of like my stuff deep fried. So one of these days I'll try that. I've got them. Hey, right now we got a place called Herc's Donuts right there to my right. 
they got some wild and crazy designer donuts like it looks like they're on steroids or something, brother. But, uh, <laughs> if you want a donut about the middle of the morning, about three o'clock, that's your place right there. They stay open 24 hours a day. This is my Marriott stop. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. That's our quick tour of downtown Little Rock. Thank you for your continued support of Southern Inspirations. And again, today is a national day of encouragement. So just like Gerald is encouraging folks on the trolley car in downtown Little Rock, go out and be an encourager today. Live life, y'all. Bye.